Welcome to this visual journey on ER diagrams, the foundation of database design. Let's explore how real-world objects are modeled in a structured way. A diagram is blueprint of any design and it's provide conceptual idea on paper before physical design because change on paper is very easy as compared to change in physical design if customer not satisfied. An ER diagram, or entity relationship diagram, is a blueprint that visually represents data and the relationships between entities. Introduced by Peter Chen in 1976, it helps us organize and connect information efficiently. In real life, ER diagrams are essential for managing structured data, from e-commerce and hospitals to schools and banking systems. For instance, a company can use an EAD to map customer data, orders, and payments seamlessly. Entities are the building blocks, they represent real-world objects like students, teachers, doctors, or patients. Each entity has attributes, which define their properties, simple ones like student ID, composite like name, first jaw last, derived like age from date of birth, or multi-valued like multiple phone numbers. Relationships connect these entities, showing how they interact, a student enrolls in a course or an employee works in a department. Each relationship can also have descriptive attributes, such as a grade for an enrollment. Mapping cardinalities define how many entities participate in a relationship, one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, or many-to-many. Many. For example, one teacher may teach many students, or many employees may belong to one department. In a real-life e-commerce system, entities like customer, order, product, and payment work together. A customer places many orders, and each order can contain multiple products. Always remember, entity is a noun, relationship is a verb, and attribute is a property. Before implementing your database, always validate the relationships and cardinalities to ensure accuracy. Thank you for joining this session. This presentation is designed by Dr. Dharmpal Singh, Professor of CSE at JIS University. Don't forget to like, share, and comment if you found it helpful. Keep learning, keep designing, and continue exploring the world of data with creativity and clarity. Welcome to this visual journey on ER diagrams, the foundation of database design. Let's explore how real-world objects are modeled in a structured way. A diagram is blueprint of any design and it's provide conceptual idea on paper before physical design because change on paper is very easy as compared to change in physical design if customer not satisfied. An ER diagram, or entity relationship diagram, is a blueprint that visually represents data and the relationships between entities. Introduced by Peter Chen in 1976, it helps us organize and connect information efficiently. In 